Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I want to comment on the Boatsy Richards fight real quick. Uh, congrats to Joshua Boatsy. He got the decision. All right. Um, the official scores 116, 112, and two judges had it 115, 113 for him. All right. Now, I scored the fight a draw 116, 116. Um, at the end of the fight, I was tempted to give uh, an even round because it was kind of close. Boatsy did have some, some success. But early in the round, I saw Richards landing flush shots and I gave him the round because of it. All right. Um, if I would have scored the even round, Boatsy would have won on my card 117, 116. All right. Now, as far as I'm concerned, um, I saw this fight as either a draw or one point either way. The fight was that close. All right, uh, and let me go ahead and uh, rip Tony Bell you right now. Uh, he should be ashamed. He should be uh, called out. Uh, he should not be scoring fights uh, anytime in the near future, all right? This fool gave the first seven rounds of the fight to Joshua Boatsy, all right? Uh, I mean, how biased can you be? Uh, you know, is, the, this, is he in the same gym with uh, Joshua Boatsy? All right, uh, is Joshua Boatze a an, an honorary bell you? You know, do we need to know, know this information? All right, um, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, Tony Bell you being the, the ultimate company man, match room. All right, you know, because of course, match room is, has been pushing Joshua Boatze since the beginning. All right, Craig Richards is the, the, the B player and the B side in this fight, you know, and after the fight, Bell you talking about. Oh, he he won the first the first seven rounds because he was the one coming forward with landing shots. You can't win in rounds on the back foot and not land the punches. What fight was he watching? All right. Now, the way I saw the fight, round one and two were both even rounds. All right, very close, very punch for punch type rounds. All right. The argument could have been made that Richards won was you know won those rounds. All right, it was that close. Round three, I did give to Richards 10-9, all right? Round four, uh, 10-9 for Boatsy, all right? Showing that it was a close fight. Round five was another even round, 10-10. Round six, 10-9 Boatsy. Round seven, 10-9 Boatsy. Uh, rounds eight and nine, which Bell you gave to Richards, I gave to Richards, all right? 10-9. All right, round 10 was 10-9 for Boatsy. Round 11 was another even round, and round 12 was 10-9 for Richards, all right? They came out to 116-116 for me. Uh, you know, if you had this fight a draw or one point either way, I would not make a stink about it. It was that close of a fight, you know, that back and forth. Uh, Richards started out the fight well with volume and that jab. Uh, it was a problem for Bawassi, all right? But Bawassi was looking good because whenever he would land power shots, you could you could sense it. You know, you could see the effect of the way Richard's head was snapped back. His you know all that hair on his head, them dreads flopping all over the place. All right. Uh, so it was good optics for Bawassi. But uh, this was a a close competitive fight. Uh, Richard's was landing some some flush shots on Bawassi. Uh, definitely the toughest fight he has had so far in his career. So credit again to Craig Richards, uh, Tony Bellew, and, and, and Capper Ben, you know, uh, uh, Connor Ped. They were talking after uh, after the fight, talking about, oh, he, he needs to believe in himself. He needs to believe in himself. That's what's holding him back. You know, Craig Richards has nothing to be ashamed of with this fight. He gave a great performance. He showed a hell of a chin. You know, I give the guy credit. He took some, some flush shots, shots that that you know guys who fought who I said previously would have folded and uh got knocked out all right so uh you know credit to uh Craig Richards man if his defense uh, Im would improve you know I man if, if this guy was you know working with with the Mayweathers you know sharpening up his defense getting better defensively I tell you he would be uh he he would be a, a better more improved fighter you know um cuz he has great size great length uh, a good jab and uh, he can give a punch and he can take a punch all right so you know I think the guy could develop even better to be a you know a, a, a title challenger again or maybe even a champion depending on you know who's in the division at the time all right 
But uh, Joshua Bawatsi, um, look, I didn't see anything right there that made me say, man, damn, Bivol in trouble, in trouble, you know. I, I didn't, I am not saying that. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure Bill will be the favorite if they fought. Uh, it, it'd probably be close odds, but Bill will be the favorite, and I would pick Bill to beat Joshua Boazzi, all right? Uh, what did I learn from about Boazzi in this fight, all right? The guy is hittable. He can't be hit flush. You know, if you let your hands go with the guy, you can hit the guy, all right? That's number one. He has a good chin, but he is hittable, all right? He also, he has problems with taller guys or guys that are, you know, around his size or a little bit taller. You know, Marco Kalich was a, a, you know, a taller guy. He had problems with him. And he had problems with Craig Richards, who I, who I view as a, a taller fighter than him, all right? So, uh, that's another uh, red flag for uh, Boatsy, all right? And finally, and more importantly, what we learned in this fight is about his gas tank. Now, I'm not saying he has a bad gas tank, but with those big muscles and all that big power he throws, you know, when he throws a flurry, he lets his hands go, lets the combination go when he's trying to get a guy out, put a hurting on the guy. You know, if you survive and he stops throwing, you have a shot. You know, there was several times in this fight where he would he would have a flurry, he would get tired, he would just be standing there and Craig Richards would be would be landing jabs and power shots on him. I can't remember which round it was. It may have been the eighth round, uh, which that I thought was Richards' best round. He was landing power shot after power shot on uh, Buwasi. I mean, just right hand after right hand. He was perfect timing, catching him flush. Uh, so, you know, Joshua Buwasi is not unbeatable. You know, uh, Eddie's trying to throw Buwasi on uh, Bivol. Why? Why is Eddie trying to get uh, uh, Bivol in a, in, a, in a tough fight against a, a, a an up and coming challenger? You know, why is he not saying if, if Canelo fights Triple G, which it seems like that's going to be the case because he kind of slipped out one of the interviews. He was kind of firing off future fights, and he said Triple G and, and Canelo, all right? But if, if uh, Canelo goes that route, why not have Bibble challenge for the undisputed title against the better BF Joe Smith winner now? I don't know when that fight is, but, you know, if it's in time enough to where they can have you know, undisputed fight in December, you know, why why should uh, Bibble, you know, do a, a, a voluntary defense against Joshua Boatsy when he can fight for the undisputed title in a, in a, you know, instead of, if you don't have a, a mandatory call, you know, and then he could fight Canelo for the undisputed title if he, if he won next year, if that's the route Canelo wanted to go, and, that, and then the fight would be even bigger. The rematch would be big to begin with, but just, but the fact that it's for the undisputed light heavyweight championship makes it huge, even more bigger. So, you know, uh, really, that's it, guys. Uh, that's the way I saw the fight. Uh, you know, in my in my gamblers alert, you know, I said that uh, it was good value on Richards. It turned out to be, you know, this fight should not he should not have been that big of an underdog. All right. I also said that uh, I felt the fight would go to distance and you could have got better than even money on that. So, you know, so that hit, I didn't play it because it, it was not, you know, I needed big odds this weekend. You know, I was not loading up on anything, but, uh, you know, this fight did go to distance. Nobody got dropped. So, you know, so I was right on that. And, uh, you know, the fight was close and competitive. Uh, you know, I, I feel Craig Richards was deserving of getting a, a draw scorecard, you know, even if, it would have been uh, a majority decision for Boasi, you know. Uh, I, I think that he should have got more credit on the official cards, uh, you know. And the, the draw was not a bad play because it was close and competitive. So that's it, guys. You know, let me know what you think. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the fight. If you bet the fight, I hope you made money. And uh, I will check in with you guys soon. Thanks for watching.